So I thought I'd cover a little bit on a servicing our 45 1.4k series engine. And I just want to go what we um, use for a service. Um, so what we actually do, we actually get um, a kit. So if I move these out the way and uh, put these there uh, we buy a little service kit on ebay and we found that's worked pretty well numerous times and that gets us the air filter the oil filter uh, the spark plugs and uh, really an everyday standard uh, oil what we add to that is an oil additive we find that really um, the important thing over perhaps a, a really good quality oil helps the engine to run quieter, um, preserves it. We find that really, really works. What we also um, put in is uh, an engine flush um, as part of that just to clean the engine out. So I just thought I'd show you the stuff we use uh, in our service kit. So yeah, as I was saying, as well as using this oil treatment I find it really useful we always find it important to flush the engine out again it's not a miracle cure if your engine's really sludgy and dirty oil it's not gonna just get rid of it all like cleaning uh, an engine out by taking it to bits well it just makes sure that any sort of residual sludge or dirt is um, easily removed and all those little small oilways have some chance of uh, being cleaned out and uh, it's a system we've been using on the uh, k-series engine for um, probably well over 10 years servicing them regularly like this and uh, it certainly works very well for us so we've added the oil flush to the old engine oil, run the engine, we've drained that oil out, we've put the new oil filter on and put the sump plug back in. So the sump plug's now back in and what we've also done is changed the little copper washer. We've put the new oil filter on and we've marked when we've added it as well to give us some idea of uh, how long it's been on. Now it's time for us to uh, add the new oil in. So we're just adding the oil in. So now the oil's in, it's time to start up the engine, get it warm before we put the additive in. But what we always do just to make sure is keep an eye out for that oil light and make sure it does go out after we've changed, of course, the uh, oil and put fresh oil in. So that's what we're about to do now. It takes slightly longer than normal, but yes, it's gone out. So while the engine is running and ticking over to let the new oil work its way around, we use this as a good opportunity to let the oil additive just warm up because it's so thick, it takes forever to uh, go in. So we leave it on there, it warms up and it just goes in a little bit easier. So the oil has worked round and now we're added in the additive. And as you can see, it's um, flowing a lot, lot easier. Um, just by simply warming it up from the heat of the engine while the new oil works its way around. And what we do then is, um, while the additive is just running down, we tip all the old oil into an old can and uh, then we take it to our local skip or the recycling centre. They normally have a, a sort of a big barrel that you can pour used engine oil into. But it's a good way of us storing it until we get there, is to just use uh, an old um, tin to, uh, to store it in. So we're now just running the engine to let the additive work round. So the last thing to do is to change the air filter. So it's just a case of removing these um, clips or unclipping them. Uh, the top comes off and uh, you take the old one out. Yeah, there is the old air filter, and in some ways, at first of all, it's not that dirty. When you actually look at it, uh, it is quite dirty, and that's took in quite a lot of dirt. And when you see the new one, you'll see just how dirty that is. 
so yeah you can really see the difference when you put the new and the old one together just how dirty the old one is so it's always worth uh, changing it as part of the service so the final job is to change the spark plugs uh, before we put them in we're just checking that the gap setting is um, right which we've got out of our manual if we're close now of taking out the old ones which are deep down there and putting the new spark plugs in And that's the uh, old plug out and they're uh, not looking uh, not looking too bad actually and it's just a case of putting the plug back in be very careful not to cross thread it So yeah, just a gentle hand tighten, then we tighten it up with the uh, ratchet and then last of all, um, set it to the right torque setting. Whilst we're changing the spark plugs, you may have noticed this has now changed to red. Uh, that's because as part of it, we've been painting this and hopefully you'll see the process of that in another video. So all we've got to do is put the other three plugs in, but that is the service done. As always, for all those settings, we use talk settings information. Uh, we've got that from the Haynes manual, but use whatever manual you want. And... Um, Hopefully we've um, covered some of the stuff we do when we're servicing one of these engines on a 45. So that's the service completed on our Rover 45 1.4 impression. As always, it's not always easy to show all the parts of the process, but hopefully we've showed you some of it. As always, it's not a how-to video, but more of a video to just let you see how we go about things and the services are a regular thing i've no doubt some of the things we've missed in this one we'll probably cover again in another video don't forget to like subscribe and uh, have a little look at our instagram page and twitter page all the links on our youtube homepage.